If you avoid these seven things before a boxing session, you'll achieve a much higher quality workout, leading to greater skill development week to week, month to month. I guarantee you, you're doing at least one of these seven things. And I'm also going to give you an alternative to each one of these seven things to make sure you're getting the most out of every single boxing session. Now, the first one is don't eat food. <laughs> and now by that, I mean, don't eat a big meal. If you're eating a lot before a training session, it's going to slow you down big time. When we're doing this, our body is focusing on digestion, which is reducing the blood flow to the muscles that need it. This can lead to sluggish movements, even cramps, and feeling sick during your workout. Alternatively, choose a light balanced snack like one of these here, 45 minutes to an hour before your session. What I've always done is have an apple 45 minutes before my session. This will give you the energy to stay agile, stay sharp, and bring your ear game to every session. The second thing to avoid is doing a workout before your workout. Now, as crazy as this may seem, I see this all the time. People will go for a run before the boxing session. They'll lift weights. Now, if your ultimate goal is to keep fit and not improve your boxing skill, you know, that's fine. Go ahead and continue to do that. But a workout before your session will lead to muscle fatigue. Then this will increase your chance of having poor form, being sluggish, which will only make you develop bad habits in boxing. Stick to a five to 10 minute light warm up, which I'm gonna talk all about in a minute, but this will help you save your stamina and energy for what really counts in your boxing session, which is the boxing. And before I talk about this warm up, what you should be doing, let's talk about number three, which is dehydration. When you're dehydrated, your blood volume drops, which is making your heart work harder, which means you'll get tired quicker and your reaction will suffer too. Your punches will come out and they'll feel like they're in slow motion. And you might get dizzy during your workout and have to stop. Keeping your hydration will make your stamina higher and as well keep your reactions lightening fast. One huge tip for this is in the morning, drink a huge glass of water. This is the best way to start your day. And I like to add in my water, AG1, who is sponsoring this video. And I absolutely love this. AG1 is an all-in-one foundational nutritional formula that I drink to make sure I'm starting my day off right. When I drink this in the morning, I know I'm consuming all of the vitamins and minerals that my body needs. So even if my diet is not what it once was when I was an Olympic athlete, I know that AG1's got me covered because it's packed with high quality ingredients. And there's a reason why some of the smartest people in the planet or promote on this product. And that's because it's legit. Aside from all of those vitamins and minerals, it's loaded with probiotics and prebiotics, and as well, it does a great job of supporting immune health. Now, what they offer my subscribers is absolutely insane. I had to double check with them that it was right. You're going to get a year's supply of vitamin D3, K2, and they're thrown in five free travel packs on top of that as well. Now, to get this great offer, go to ag one dot com forward slash boxing and get all of that free stuff. The link is below, but check it out and your body will thank me later. Now let's get back to the list, talking about number four, which is taking too much of pre-workout, the crappy stuff as well. Everyone thinks I'm gonna drink this, it's gonna make me work harder and be better, but it doesn't mate. Overloading on pre-workout can give you the jitters, can affect your focus and even give you digestion issues. And the last thing you wanna do during a workout is your pants, <laughs> right? <laughs> so if you take too much of this pre-workout, you might your pants and as well crash halfway through your workout. When I was training for the Olympics and even during the Olympics, I hardly ever touched pre-workout. All I would have is the apple, like I told you earlier on, 45 minutes before my session. Now what you could do is have a small cup of black coffee or if you are having pre-workout, just half the dosage of the recommended amount. This way you'll get the focus and energy that you're looking for without that crash during the session. Now number five is a big one that most people who's training in boxing have found out that they have. And that is not having a goal for your workout. Now, this is a big no-no, no matter what you're trying to achieve from the session. Even if you're just boxing for a good workout or just for fitness, having that goal will really help you achieve a lot more from your session. If not, you're gonna waste time on ineffective workouts and miss out on some real big benefits. With the goal in mind, you're gonna make every minute of your session count. And I talk about this on my ideal punching method. This is a system that I created to help you punch 
perfect. They'll give you some downloadable materials and some workouts to follow along with. And if you want to punch better, you can click the link below and I'll send you this totally free, no strings or nothing like that. Moving on to number six, if you're above the age of 40, I think you will probably be doing this and that is static stretching. I remember when I was 10 years old, back in Sunderland Amateur Boxing Club in 1995, I'd walk in, it would be freezing and everyone would be there like this, stretching out. <laughs> it's so wrong. And people think this is warming up the muscles to prevent injuries, but it's not. You've actually got more chance of being injured if you're doing these static stretches. Instead, do a dynamic warm up. And that sounds really fancy and hard, but it's not. I'm talking about leg swings, arm circles, a light jog around the gym or on the spot. This is getting the blood flowing through your body and priming your muscles for the explosive workout that you're about to give it in your boxing session. Now, moving on to number seven. Does this look like you? Coming to the gym, picking that jump rope straight up and start jumping, or even missing the jump rope out and getting straight into shadow boxing. Now, I'm not saying that you shouldn't do jump rope before a session or shadow box before a session. I definitely think you should do them, but you've got to wait until your body is warmed up. Don't do them cold, because you're asking for a pulled muscle, or even worse, risk of a serious long-term injury. That can really set you back from training for a long time. A nice five to 10 minute warm up, including jumping jacks, a light jog, leg swings, doing all of this to prime their muscles before you do get in to your session will be an absolute game changer. And you'll feel the difference in that session by doing a great dynamic warm up. Now, if you're working out from home, that's great. You should click here and save this workout for the next time you wanna do a boxing session. This one is a game changer. Click here and watch this video next or save it for when you're ready to do it.